So the great work, we touched on this in the last presentation, the process. The great work is an internal process of aligning the true self to natural law by bringing one's thoughts, emotions, and actions out of perceived duality and internal contradiction. This is a process of internal alchemy to distill awareness and consciousness by abandoning incorrect and immoral beliefs that hold one back. This is a continual process of self-mastery. This is step one. This is the philosophical stage, the great work. This is an ancient phrase. You know, it derives from um, the alchemical traditions and the hermetic traditions and all through the mystery traditions, right? The great work. There's nothing harder or more, impor more important than working on yourself, right? To become moral to act morally in the world. This is the most important process. This is what we are here to do, to lower entropy, to lower apathy, to distill our consciousness to a focal point aligned with nature and truth, to evolve a soul, right? We're not just endowed with a highly um, um, generated grown soul no 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 we are here to do that work of self-mastery so this internal process comes first we need to recognize a problem and once we do that and we understand it deeply now we can do the one great work the one great work is the arduous task of influencing others to do the internal great work. It is to help them realize that in supporting and condoning the legitimacy of human authority and government, man's law, that they have actually been supporting and condoning the legitimacy of slavery and that they were immoral for having done so. In short, the one great work is to get people to abandon their religions, the false and dogmatic beliefs that hold back the progress of consciousness by impeding the reception of truth and natural law. This is what the one great work is. The one great work is the hardest external work to do. We cannot force someone to look within, to set a foot on the path of internal realization, to actualize. We can't force them to do that, but we can inspire them and influence them. This is what the one great work is to do. Now, people say, you know, hey, Will, the dark occult, they influence people. You know, they influence people via mind control. Yes, they are using the knowledge of natural law. They're using the knowledge of how the human psyche and how the human being operates. That body of information is occultism. So if occultism is the tool they are wielding it and using it for immoral actions. Absolutely. But the influence from the dark occult, right? That's, that's what it is. Sure, there are actions there that are immoral. There's death, murder, for sure. But the majority is influence via mind control, right? We are also influencers. We are influencers for truth for what is right, for objective morality and nature. We are using the same information, but on the opposite spectrum. And we do this through inspiration. If you look at 
the social engineers, the dark occultists, right? They obviously control every category, every uh, faucet of society, right? Education, media, um, strength via the standing armies of the, the police and military, health. They have these huge tentacles that they are operating from. And of course, the people that are operating within those organizations, right, are completely immoral. They're under mind control. But just like the vampire, right, the vampire sucks the life force out of you and operates in the shadows. This is what, you know, government, the social engineers are, the dark occultists. They, just as the vampire, you have to consent for the vampire to come into your home. Into your home. This is, the one great work is educating people, educating the public on human psychology, natural law, the laws of, of manifestation, the laws that govern our reality. This is what the one great work is. And it's, it's difficult. It's extremely difficult. Anyone that is, that is watching this, this stream right now and they understand the condition of the world, then you know Agent Smith is everywhere. The conditioning and programming of the majority of people is so calcified and ingrained. And this, this generational mind control has been going on for eons. It's embedded in the genetic codes, the blood codes of human beings. So the inspiration, the amount of work that must be done is vast. It is huge. But yet it is absolutely the right thing to do and can be done through an act of our will. But it's going to take numbers. It's going to take everyone listening to my voice and beyond, right? So this presentation is to help spark you to embark on that journey and to give you resources. So, awaken via technology. Most people who are even somewhat awake would tell you that they awakened from researching on websites, watching digital videos, and listening to digital audio. Technology is the tool by which the wielder can influence others towards higher awareness. This is important. I mean, it's, it's 2023, right? I would say 99% of the people that have awakened to what is going on in the world, they receive that information by digital means. I mean, my library is vast. Books have had a huge influence on me, but yet still, videos, websites, digital media was the biggest influence. This is the tool. This is the technology that awakens the minds, the sleeping minds of people.